You'll find details of Channel 4's Cheltenham coverage, including tomorrow's events on Digital Text page 430. And Hot Knits Hooves is Deal or No Deal, every weekday at 4.15. Then, live at 5 today, Emma Thompson joins Richard and Judy. Stick around on 4. identical sealed boxes in one of which is a quarter of a million pounds and just one question yes welcome to deal or no deal particular a very warm welcome to you we still have the reverberations from Saturday's game with Ruth it's funny how every now and again you do get a game like that it sort of makes this lot get very jumpy and nervous because Ruth had the opportunity of winning a life-changing sum of money and she lost her courage now look I hope whoever comes out here today realizes you're only gonna get this chance once Make the most of it. Here are the names. Make the most of your big moment. Laura. Yeah! 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 Laura, it really is now your big moment. Please join me. The crazy you. chair. Thank you very much. Ooh, how are you feeling? I'm really nervous. Right. <laughs> yeah. You nearly said something rude there. No, I didn't. I wouldn't. What have we got here then? Um, this is me and my boyfriend Chris. Oh, crumbs. So you're a beautiful girl. You, <laughs> you got a bloke like that. Oh, darling. Oh, don't you agree, Mum? Oh, he's lovely. Oh, is he? Yeah, <laughs> he's really lovely. I'm not into looks, but he's good looking. <laughs> Looking, but I went out with him for his personality. Oh. I like him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sorry, my you know, word. I love him. It's all right. Everything's perfect. It's a very good relationship. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> it depends how much I win. It uh, might be. I, I think you'd. Well, it'd have to be the quarter million to recover that situation. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah. Laura Quincy, 21, from Working in Surrey, a marketing assistant. Yeah. So, what do you assist with? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> Lost the boyfriend in the first couple of minutes. Lost the, Lost the job in the next couple of minutes. <laughs> How many of these tattoos have you got? I've got one here and two there and some on my back. Really? Yeah. I've got a dig. You can't see them. I've got a dress on. I'll show you in the break. <laughs> <laughs> Deal. <laughs> I'd like to, yeah. Okay. Thank you. I need you to confirm that you chose box number 11 at random before the game began. I did. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and it's the only person who knows where the money is. Laura, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Just want to say to everyone before I start, if you could support my mum because I know within five minutes she'll be in tears <laughs> <laughs> so she's gonna need some help thank you oh there you go mum <laughs> thank you <laughs> okay let's go right I'm saving you as well not because of your number <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to tell us about it now oh Matt's my little buddy at the pub so you know what I'm going to see in the break, do you, Matt? I do. <laughs> Matt's not interested in what I've got under my dress. <laughs> 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 right, first one I'm going to go for, I think, is... 
Sheila. 22, please. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so good start. Next one is going to be Lexus, number 17. Try my best, Laura. Thank good you. Yeah. Hey, I think I might go for 40. Love your lots. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> ah. Yeah! <laughs> Love you. Go ahead, then, okay. I'm going to go for Gemma number six. Okay. Please. Good luck, Laura. Thank you. Fingers crossed for you. Thanks. It was beastly okay. Brian Binatta again. No, nope, we're all right. Hey, it's all right. That's what you wanted. Yeah. Now one more blue. I think my last one is going to be Ken, number four, please. Oh, that's all right. That's okay. So that one out of the way. I'm happy with that. Yesterday, Phil got a very nice one. Yeah. Extremely lovely. Hello, banker. Yes, very good, thank you. Yes, Laura's here. <laughs> he says, very good news that you're not into looks. Yeah. <laughs> He's feeling better about that already. Chris, yeah, it was Chris. Let's just have a look at it again. <laughs> the banker Stop. has made a suggestion that he really ought to have a bolt through his neck. No! <laughs> Oh, bless him. Shouldn't have bought the picture. <laughs> the banker wants to know where, whether you built him yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Sund sundry parts acquired from the local morgue. Oh! Here's that pack from Ikea. <laughs> very good, very good. I like it. <laughs> She's had a very good beginning, yes. <laughs> I'll ask. Um, the banker believes he may have a slight advantage over you. Because when they were putting the microphone on you, he heard you say, but I'm not wearing my lucky pants. <laughs> true? That is true, yeah. Very good. <laughs> How do you know they're lucky, he says. <laughs> I don't, it's just a feeling I get off them. <laughs> She does have a way with words, doesn't she? Yeah. Not into looks. Yeah, he's writing it all down. Okay. Get strong feelings from pants. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, all of that adds up to nine and a half thousand pounds. Wow. Thank you. That is an amazing offer. And there is a lot of things that I could do with that money. However, I do still have my Power 5 intact, and he doesn't. So, I think I'm ready for the question now. Nine and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal? Thank you, Mr Banker. Fantastic offer, but no deal. Thank you. I'm going to go for Alex, number two. Okay. All the best, Laura. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, next I'm going to go for Jojo, number eight, please. I'll be speaking. Thank you. Oh, it's fine. Good. 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 Are you excited, Noel? I am. <laughs> I am. Yeah. 
you know why I'm excited? Why? Oh, because there's a break. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm about okay. to find out about this tattoo you've got. Ah! <laughs> Four. Well, that was an interesting break for me. Thank you. Uh, for coming back for our little rendezvous with <laughs> Laura, who does indeed have a tattoo on her lower back of the London Underground. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. He was lovely. Good. Right, I've got one more, haven't I? You have. Before the lovely man rings back. Oh, right. buttering him up, eh? I think there's something quite nice about a mysterious man. Do you? Yeah. I well, looks aren't my... important, well, yeah. are they? <laughs> exactly. As long as he's mysterious. Exactly, there you go. Yeah. Right, I'm going to go for David, number 20, please. I've had several blues. I hope this is another. Thank you. Oh. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Had to go at some point. Well, you've got a great block of four. You've got a backup block of three. It is good. It is good. Very good. Hello. Hello. Ah, you're feeling mysterious. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. A little story for us. Yes. <laughs> <God. laughs> oh, here we go. Laura, how many legs <laughs> does a bird have? <laughs> Mum's gone already. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to? <laughs> up until a little while ago, I don't know why, up until a few years ago, I always thought that they had two sort of little ones, like, under their wings that help them walk. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> until someone pointed out that they don't. And I did argue my case for a long time. Um, and then I was proved wrong. <laughs> Tell me about her education. <laughs> Well, he finds you irresistible, but your game board far from that. Which is why he now is offering you £15,000. That's a really good offer. £15,000 would change my life. It really would. Mum, what do you think? Are you crying already? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> It's not bad yet. I'm not crying like that. Um, I don't know, because that is a really... You've got four biggies still. I mean, you'd be pretty unlucky to take out even three of those next go. I think maybe you could just go one more. Yeah? OK. All right, I'm ready for the question. Please, Noli. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! 21 years old. I think we could have a bit of Mr Edmonds, not Noli. <laughs> Mr Edmonds? <laughs> All right, I'll call you no. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm quite, I'll go along with anything. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is now dealy or no dealy. <laughs> 15,000 pounds. Deal or no deal. That is an amazing offer, but no deal. Thank, Thank you. What I'm going to go for is Simo, number 12, please. It's coming. That's all right. Um, number five is my uncle's birthday. I'm going to go for Olga, number five. This is uncle's box. Yeah, this is my uncle's box. Right. Yeah. My birthday is not really that important. Why not? Well, it's not as important as my, like my mum's and that. No. I'd rather get rid of mine and keep my mum's. Gosh, no one's ever said that. A lot of people come along here and say, "Ah, oh, that's my birthday," and therefore. Yeah, but I prefer Christmas because then everyone gets a present. I don't like being the only one. I get embarrassed. <laughs> I like to give as well. 
Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> OK, so I'm going to actually go with my birthday. I'm going to go with 15, Phil, please. Phil, you're disposable. Good look. Thank you. She's got a nice blue top on as well. Oh, that's all right. This is all right. 10,000. Well, quite clearly, when you started that round, your aim was to hold on to the bottom four there. It was indeed. And you've done it. Yeah. Now, this could go against you. I have to warn you, Laura, because you did say, you know, the last offer at 15,000 was life changing and well, very it was. tempting. It was. So very tempting. he might just offer you 15 and a half. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'll tell her. If you ever decide to dump Frankenstein, give him a call. He's really. <laughs> I will do. Ah, I see. There's no chance of a relationship here because it would be doomed by one fundamental difference. What's that? You like giving things away. And he doesn't. And he hates giving things away. Ah. Oh, I could try and change him. Mm. And this offer, quote, just stuck in his throat. <clears throat> He's now wanting your box 11 for £20,000. Oh, God. If you take out in the take next go, I won't get that again. You, you won't get offered that again. And if you take out even two of the biggest ones, you'll never get offered that again. No, and no, you've no. still got your penny, you've still got a ten, you've still got a fiver. Okay, I'm ready for the question now. Brace yourself, Mum. Here we go. Twenty thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? That's an amazing, amazing amount of money. But no deal. <laughs> Right, Mum. Let's not forget, games don't always go bad. They don't always they don't. turn. Yeah. So, positive thinking. Okay, my first one is going to be Dave, number 21. I could have left you to last and it would have been worse. <laughs> Good luck, Laura. I'm going to miss you. Thanks, hon. I'm going to miss you too. Oh. Uh, don't worry. That That's not is... what I wanted. Incredible bad luck to lose the big one at that point. Right. Okay. On we go. We're going to hold on to that block of three. Yeah. I want my block. Yeah. One P, ten P, five pounds. That's what we're looking for now. Yeah. Okay. Well, my uncle's birthday was lucky for me, so I'm going to go for Big Ron, sixteen, which is my cousin's birthday. Thank you, Ron. All the best, Laura. Hope Thank that you. you. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Thanks. Okay, well, all the other birthdays have been lucky, so I think I might open my mum's. Sticking with birthdays? I think so. So I think I'm going to go for Greg 13, please. Okay, Greg, this is a really, really important box. We do not want to see 100,000. We do not want 75,000. We do not want 50,000. We do not want you to open that until after the break. Oh. I guarantee you will come back. She can be a mega winner. She really can. <laughs> We're back at five. <laughs> Got to make the Lawrence game. If I'm looking a little stern, it's because I had to give her a stiff talking to during that break. <laughs> nothing, nothing to do with the Noli thing, but... Um, 
the fact that uh, she kept looking back to the 20,000 that she declined. But you can't look backwards, we have to go forwards. And before the break, you selected Greg. Do you still want to go there? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's Mum's birthday. Yeah, okay. 13. Mum's birthday. We need Mum's birthday to miss the three biggest. Away you go. Good luck, Laura. Thank you. Dramatically. Don't, yeah. don't get upset about it. No, it's, I'm right. it's happened. It's happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello. You mean, oh, what a shame. Delivered in a very insincere tone. <laughs> you feel sorry for Laura's mum now? She wanted her to stop. I'm not sure she wanted her to stop. He said, so, think about it, Laura, and then go home with £7,000. We're at seven grand now. I took two big ones out. How positive are you feeling? I don't know. Mum? Take your time. That think you should have thought what your cutoff was. Yeah, I know. And now you but think about it now, Laura. You don't want to go home with nothing. Okay, I'm ready for the question now. Seven thousand pounds. Deal. Thank you very much, no deal. Okay. You need to turn my game round. Let's go. Mark number ten. Swing, yeah? Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Yeah. Where are we going now? Nineteen is going to be the last one if that okay. if it comes to that. Right. Um, seven is definitely staying, and three is definitely staying. Okay. I think you're going to bring me luck, Matt. So I'm going to go for Matt number eighteen. Matt, not a hundred thousand, not the fifty thousand. For a whole host of reasons, we have to stop this game being a bad luck game after such a wonderful start. I think she can still win huge money here. I want to rebuild her confidence. A blue will do that. Thank you, Matt. Good luck. That's all right. That's all right. Okay. 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 That's all right. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. I want to get that one. Could have been worse. Yeah, it could have been worse. Take your time. This is so yeah. important, this box. We have to get to the next call with a 50 and 100 cent. I'm thinking the only birthday that wasn't great for me was Mum's. <laughs> Sorry, Mum. And number seven is Mia's birth number. And Mia is my auntie's daughter. So I'm going to go for Kirsty, number seven, please. The newbie. The newbie. So I don't believe in Kirsty, the newbie. Kirsty, we're not worried about you, so you cannot have 50,000 or 100,000. Thank you. Good luck, Laura. Appear positive, wow. he reads every single little nuance he I'm interprets. Positive, but I'm relieved also. <laughs> yeah. Now, working against you is the 1p and the 10p. Yeah, I know. That gives him confidence, but you have still retained two he's, of the mighty power five. He's going to love the 1p being there. He is going to adore the fact that the 1p is there. Yeah. 
If I was guessing his thoughts, I would say he feels he's already beaten you. I don't think so. I, I mean, I, I don't mind telling everyone, £20,000 was my target. And it took a lot for me to turn that down. And I'm very proud of myself. I think I've been as brave as I could be. Um, I've, I've shot myself. I'm pleased I went on. Hello. Good. OK, at the forefront of his mind right now is your last statement, which he utterly respects. He is genuinely fascinated by this situation because he is pointing out that if you decide to go on, yeah. the probability of you ending up with 50,000 and 100,000 as the final two boxes is exactly the same as the probability of you ending up with one P or two. Mm -hmm. is indeed. He is going to offer you, well, obviously, a tiny sum, probably, possibly. 4p, 5p, whatever, or 70,000-ish, depending upon the outcome sure. of that probability. Yeah. Oh, I like it. He's trying to temper your desire <laughs> for the 70,000 as against the fear of it being, say, 4p. How's he doing? <laughs> Well, he says he thinks... <laughs> oh, well, that's good. He came straight back and said, not that great. OK. Well, on a number of occasions, he said this is a very tricky offer to come up with for all of the reasons that I was explaining. Sure. And he thinks this is it. And this will do the job. Uh, the offer now is £16,500. And you know, it's a long time since there have been nods of approval. I think people realise that is a clever offer. Yeah, it is. It's a very clever, unsettling offer. Your box 11 is now worth £16,500. But like he said, there's just as much chance of me taking £100,000 from him as there is as a penny. Yep. <laughs> Do you want to come down here? Yeah. Come on then. <laughs> Take the time. Yeah, yeah. If you'd have took the 20, yeah. that, that was what you wanted. Yeah, it was. And you could have gone home. And what is it, 16 and a half? Oh, 16 that's and a half. Pretty and close, that's, isn't it? it? It is. Yeah. But now you, you've got to think do you want to go home with that or do you just want to go take your chance, either go yeah. home with loads yeah. or just, just go home and be as you were before? Yeah. Just take your time. Think about what you want to do. You never get this chance. I know you wouldn't get a chance again to off, uh, get a hundred thousand, but it's not like you're going to get that, and you, you're not going to get sixteen and a half again either. Fascinating, clever offer. It's got absolutely everybody discussing it. Ready? No Ready? Way. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. We had a good long discussion. Everybody discussed it. It was amazing. <laughs> Here it is, 16 and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? I so want to go on. But that is going to change my life, so deal. Absolutely. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. Because 16 and a half thousand will sort out some of your financial issues. So that's it great. It really would. That's great. But there still is burning inside you the thought that you really should have gone on. Well, I, I think I would have kept that one to the end. And I'm, I think 100 grand's in 19. Okay. Next box I would have got rid of is one, Matty. Now, 
there is a big chunk of Laura that really <laughs> did want to go on. And we want to make sure she does not leave the Dream Factory this afternoon with a burning regret inside. Matty, blow her game apart, please. 50,000. Oh, let's just try and visualise how we would now be feeling if you'd gone on. We would be hanging on by the fingernails here, wouldn't we? Wouldn't really we hanging on by the fingernails. The next yeah. one. The next one... I would have kept number three because that's that's really important okay. to me. So, so it would have been you nine. would have gone with Brian, yep. despite the fact that we've called him the Beast because he has wrecked so many games. I would have been worried, but that's where I would have but gone. But now yeah. with the ironic twist that happens because you said yeah. deal, we actually want you to live up to expectations, right. Brian, yeah. <laughs> and chuck out another big number. Okay, babe. Thanks, hon. Yes. Yeah. I am so grateful that you dealt. We do not have enough tissues in the building. <laughs> we don't. To cover this scenario if we it had don't. gone that wrong. Okay, let's polish it off. Yeah, next would have been number three. Eunice, was she on her way to the 1P club, possibly? Unless you got it there. 10P, you could have been on your way to the 1P. I'll give you a kiss anyway. Oh, my <laughs> word. What? I like to box out with me, Good. All right, Thank well... You. During the last deliberation, he said if you ended up with the 1p and the 10p, the offer would have been 4p. It's not going to be a lot more than that, is it now? Yeah, but I'd done him out of 16 Hello. and a half. Uh, your offer would have been a £1.99. <laughs> oh, I mean, saleswoman of the year or what? Were you on your way to the 1p club? Whichever way you have so. beaten the banker. <laughs> that would be neat, wouldn't it? Yeah. Were you on your way? Yes! <laughs> Uh, you always said you were going to keep Karen to the end. Please yeah. open box 19. Five pounds sitting over there. There, there it is. How do you feel? I'm thrilled to bits. Yeah. Absolutely ecstatic. Couldn't have couldn't have played a better game. I enjoyed myself so much. And I'm really going to miss everyone. We're going to miss you. You've been it's, so fantastic. Thank you. You've it's, really been brilliant. And I'm so pleased to be saying, Laura, £16,500. Thank you. Richard and Judy are up next with special guest Emma Thompson.